This video will cover installing a Shelly PM1 relay switch and a 2021 Grand Design Momentum 397TH. This is for a 12 volt application controlling lights in the camper. In this application we will be adding the Shelly PM1 relays to control the ceiling light, scare light, and the porch light. None of these are controlled by the Lippert 1 control in the camper. Configuring this for a 12 volt application is not intuitive and I had to view many YouTube videos and piece things together before I finally got it to work. The first thing you must do is set the jumper for 12 volts. The default setting is for 24 to 60 volts and also 120 volts. You have to pop off the smaller of the two covers to access the jumper. You simply pull the cover off with a fingernail or any object that will pry the cover off. The default setting jumps the left and center pins. We just need to take the jumper off and move it to the center and right pins. You can use a very small tip screwdriver to manipulate the jumper off the left and center pens. Once you have it out, you simply move it to the center and right pens. Another option is to pry the case apart, making it much easier to access the jumper. If you look closely, you'll see the places where there's thicker plastic. Just take a fine point screwdriver and push it into the crack between the top and bottom cases. You will be able to then pry them apart. Do this for each of the catches. The jumper has already been moved on this one, but you can see that it is on the center and right pins for the 12 volt setting. There are four catches on the case that need to be pried apart and when reattaching the case, make sure all four snap back fully into place. This shows the jumper in the proper location for 12 volt service. Replace the small cap back onto the case to complete this part of the configuration. There are five connections on the Shelly PM1. O goes to the output load, in this case to the light fixture. I gets 12 volt positive power. SW is the connection that goes to the top connector of the light switch. L minus connects to the camper's ground and N plus goes to the camper's 12 volt positive. You will also have a separate wire that connects to the lower connector on the light switch and is connected to the camper's ground. I purchased 10 feet of the 14 gauge stranded 3 wire from Lowe's. You will have to untwist the wires, but it gives you 30 feet total of three different colored wires for you to use in these applications. I wasn't sure how much wire would be needed, and this was more than enough for installing six of these switches. I also used the push-in wire connectors for three, four, and eight wires. The three-wire connector is shown here. These were used to connect multiple 12-volt positive wires together and multiple 12-volt negative wires together. If you need to connect more wires, as was the case for one of mine, you can just add a connector that jumps to another push-in wire connector. Most of the screws in the Grand Design Campers use a Phillips or a number 2 square screwdriver bit. In this case, just unscrew the four screws so you can pop the cover off to reveal the wires behind it. Well, there are lots of wires tucked in behind this plate. Hopefully there will be enough room to fit three Shelly PM1 relays and a few more inches of wire. The large blue wire nut is connecting all the ground wires together. I'll have to use an 8-wire push-in connector and add a 4-wire push-in connector in order to connect all three of these new relays. Tracing the other wires, it looks like this blue wire is my 12-volt positive feed. You can see that it is daisy-chained to each of the switches. Even though I don't show it in this video, I did use a multimeter to determine which wires provided the positive and negative connections to ensure I was connecting the correct wires. By placing my positive test lead into the suspected 12-volt positive wire bunch, the one with the blue wire, and the negative lead into the bunch with the large wire nut, I was able to determine these were the wires I would need. The large wire nut has now been replaced with an 8-wire connector with a jump to a 4-wire connector, providing me a total of 9 possible ground connections. One is used by the wire going to the camper's ground, and two are used by the jumpers to add the 4-wire connector. We will be working with the ceiling light first, which in this video is in the top left position, bottom left when the case is mounted to the wall. We have identified the 12 volt positive wire as the blue wire. We know the N plus and the I connections on the Shelly PM1 connect to the 12 volt positive of the camper. Because the blue wire is the 12 volt positive, we can put a spade connector on a separate wire and connect it to the blue wire using the existing connector there. We then need to connect the other end of this wire to the push-in wire connector for the 12 volt positive connections. 
There is one more extra wire, one that is not attached to the Shelly PM1, needed to connect the bottom post of the switch to the ground of the camper. It will have the female spade receiver so it can be placed on the switch. Make sure you have enough wire to reach the push-in wire connectors when making any of these wires. Most of the wires only need to be a couple of inches, but in some cases you will need to make longer wires, especially for the connections to the switch. Since there is no code for wire color in 12 volt systems, you can use any color you want. In my case, I used green wire for any 12 volt negative connections, black wire for the 12 volt positive connections and the load connections, and white wire for the connection to the switch. The O wire will go to the load or the actual light fixture. It will eventually have a male spade connector attached that will connect to the wire that was connected to the lower post of the switch. The N plus connection will go from the Shelly PM1 to the 12 volt positive wire bundle. The length of the wires will depend on how you can tuck the wires back into the wall and still reach the connections that you need to. The I wire should be about the same length as the N plus cable as they will both be connecting to the 12 volt positive wire bundle. Finally we connect the SW wire which will go to the top post of the light switch. The only thing left is to place connectors where needed. The O wire will have a male spade connector and the SW will have a female spade connector. We now have everything connected. The 12 volt positive connections, the N plus and the I connectors on the Shell APM1, are connected together with the blue wire we identified earlier as the power source. The O connection is going to the wire that was connected to the bottom of the light switch. The L- minus connection goes to the 12 volt negative bundle along with the wire connecting to the bottom of the switch and the SW connector is going to the top pole of the light switch. Test the light switch to ensure it works still. If it doesn't work with the physical switch at this point, it won't work with the Shelly relay. If you have any exposed connectors as I do here, make sure you tape them with electrical tape before putting the cover back on. This is the bundle after adding all three relays and before putting the cover back on. It took some work, but I was able to get everything tucked away and the cover back on the wall. This is a summary of the connections you will need. You will have a wire that will connect the 12-volt positive bundle to the camper's 12-volt positive. In this case, it was the blue wire that was connected to the top post of the light switch. You will also have a wire that connects the bottom pole of the light switch to the 12-volt negative bundle. On the Shelly PM switch, O goes to the output load to the light, which was the wire connected to the lower post of the light switch. I is the switched input power connecting to the 12 volt positive bundle. SW connects to the top post of the light switch. L minus connects to the 12 volt negative bundle. And N plus connects to the 12 volt positive bundle.